here's the thing. You have no idea if this thing is on or off. There is no indication. There is not a light. And if you, you have two ways to install this thing, you can plug it into a screen via HDMI, attach a cable for a keyboard and the mouse. And that's probably the right way to do it or the right way. If you know, if you the fast way, or you can do it remotely. If you do it remotely where you connect to the spark Wi-Fi, and then you go through install steps from there, you're completely in the dark. You are just following some steps and there's no way to know if it's actually working. So that is kind of weird. And uh, for everyone who's going to get one and try it at home, try this remote install. Yep. There's no way to tell if it's actually doing anything, it, where it is in its doing steps. And there is one thing, there's actually a bug where it keeps popping up the screen saying connect uh, to local host NVIDIA, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you don't close that screen, it's not gonna go to the next step in the install process. And then at the next step where it like connects to Wi-Fi, it pops this thing on again and you have to close it in order to con uh, continue. So FYI, it's just like incredibly not clear what's going on if you're trying to uh, start this remote even when you push the power button, you know, you plug in the USB car, uh, USB cable from the power adapter and you don't know, did it just turn on or do you still need to push the button? Do you just click the button or do you hold the button? And literally like you have no idea until the uh, spark Wi-Fi shows up in the Wi-Fi list on your laptop, you don't know if it's on or off. So you've been warned.